Well, the high tide's in about 15 minutes. Sunset's in about 45. And the tide's going to be about half a metre too low for the photograph I want. Well, I'm going to take it to get the composition for when I find the correct high tide. Oh, the wind's not really dropping either. And it's very busy. So, yeah, there, there isn't going to be much colour either because there's a huge swathe of cloud where sun's setting. I would, and there's lots of clouds above the bridge, or behind the bridge, should I say, which is going to be in shot. The kind of shot I'm after is blanket cloud or no cloud. Totally a scouting trip. So I'll have a look at the composition, see what I can get when conditions are correct. I hope you can hear me because the wind is absolutely blowing a hooli as they say. Ah, water level ends. Anyway, it's going a lot better than I thought it would do as you can see the tide. It's come up much farther than I had expected it to and what I anticipated it. But a bit close to be. And as always, as soon as I get the bloody camera out, somebody walks by. Yeah, you have to time it shot quite well because now and again all manner of detritus just rolls past. That said this is absolutely awesome. Much better as I've just said than I thought. And the wind is really is helping because it's blowing the tide in further up than it would if there wasn't any kind of any kind of wind. That's awesome. If I can get that tide up a good half meter higher spectacular I'm getting some decent shots I'm shooting anything between 4x3 and 16x9 I've got the polarizer on I've got the three stop hard grid on and I've got the six stop on and I'm getting about a minute um, ISO 64 just to get the timing right oh, another 30 centimeters will be absolutely awesome anyway Gonna clean my filter though because it just got splashed. The tide seems to have hit the high tide mark. So I've just done a really wide panorama right from over there, right across to there. If I could get the water to there, sweet. Mm, I've been going into a lot there. I'm going to see what that looks like as well. Somewhere around, somewhere around there. But I like to get the basin. Wow. Wow. That emotional roller coaster you go through when you think it's not going to happen. The tide is just not going to get high enough. And then it creeps towards where you want it to be or almost where you want it to be and your heart starts to get a bit fluttery and you get a bit excited and it's moving towards where you want it to be and it's like wow that was absolutely amazing but we get up and start from the ground Searching for my high